The Tesla Cybertruck is a dramatic looking vehicle with its angular stainless steel outer shell and as a concept it works. The vehicle runs. As an advertisement for Tesla and its engineering skills and marketing it is a brilliant success. But what can we discover by taking an engineer's view of the body shell structure? The conventional pickup truck is built on a heavy and rigid steel chassis that carries the load between the wheels and prevents twisting. Rivian has adopted the same concept for its EVs, a rigid steel chassis carrying batteries. Bollinger the same, a heavy and rigid steel chassis. Atlas also the same, a heavy and rigid steel chassis. But the Cybertruck is different. It's not based on a heavy chassis that carries all the forces of body and load. If we remove the doors and windows from the Cybertruck and look inside, we can see a totally different structure. The framework of struts forms a truss bridge, just like a railway bridge. And just like the struts of a railway bridge, these struts carry the load. And just like the railway bridge, the truss design is lighter and stronger than the massive steel beams of a chassis in a conventional design. One aspect that complicates the simple bridge girder approach is the need for cutouts for the wheels, particularly in the rear where the extra load of the bed is being carried. In the Cybertruck, this strong but light truss supports the truck bed with pairs of vertical steel plates either side of the truck bed. These are important structural elements, but Tesla has used the space between each pair for extra storage. We also see the truss design carried forward at the front with similar but shorter pairs of steel plates creating the wheel arches. We can now see how the steel plate outer shell at front and rear, of, instead of being purely cosmetic, are an essential part of the lightweight bridge girder construction that carries weight around the wheel cutout. A truss design like this is extremely strong and light, but it needs further elements to provide diagonal stability and prevent twisting. These braces are provided by the steel plate bulkheads to the front and rear of the passenger compartment. But we still need diagonal stability of the roof elements. The flat fixed glass of the windscreen and roof can provide this, and this is probably the main reason for using the ultra-strong glass. It is an essential structural component. The floor of the vehicle is also the battery pack. The, the flat sheet of steel above and below the battery pack acts as the floor of the bridge and this is perhaps the only element of construction that could be considered as a stressed skin as it would normally be an element under tension and together with the bridge truss above carries the weight of the batteries, occupants and cargo between the wheels. This floor plate of the battery container also provides diagonal strength at the bottom. Vertical separators running front to back and side to side within the battery pack also provide stiffness as well as strength without adding extra weight. So an important message for anyone thinking of buying a Cybertruck and then modifying the design. Every bit that you see is an important structural part that gives the vehicle its strength. Cut any one of those elements and the vehicle would be unsafe. My conclusion, this is a brilliant structural design for a very strong but light vehicle.